Hello, 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 everybody out there in the internet land. Welcome back to another episode of the Tavern Talk. For those that don't know what a Tavern Talk is, think a podcast, but only two people, sometimes three, and it's a lot shorter, mainly between 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what we're talking about. And what we're talking about, it has shaken up the internet and my own personal fanboy feelings over the course of the last, I don't know, two days now. We're going to be talking about... Phase Clan. Yes, the roster shakeup that happened with Phase Clan not too long ago. First of all, Brandon. Yeah. I want to get your thoughts and opinions from when you first became a fan to how you feel currently. We're going to be talking about a lot of things involving Phase Clan, but what what was your thought of Phase Clan when you first discovered them compared to how, how you're feeling right now, how the thing how things are going? Well, well let me just do a Okay, so <laughs> yeah, do a shadow clone juicy real quick. <laughs> fucking yeah, um, fucking. <laughs> I have been a fan since like MW two when they first yeah. got their start. And keep in mind, I was a fan of the sniping scene before they even were a thing when Optic was running the show. Mm-hmm. Now, shout out Optic, yeah, XR. Shut up, man. Oh, also, love you, Scump. Anyway, <laughs> FaZe has been basically in my life since then. I've been a huge fan, well, not recently in the last few years, but up until they moved up to LA, I was a huge fan. The New York house, and the montages, ill cams, just everything up until the sniping scene in FaZe started to dwindle. Is that? But after some time, things kind of just went downhill. People started leaving. People, some stayed that kept, you know, sniping and all that and the, keeping the sniping scene alive. But the montages and trick shotting is not what it used to be. Nah. If you, I mean, if you see people like even they, if they put up a montage, it doesn't get the numbers it used to. It's really sad because I, I am still a huge fan of the quick scope being montage scene. Oh yeah, I know. And like, I'm I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I, I will say this much: uh, throughout everything that's happened with Phase Plan, from the ups, the downs, the people leaving, the controversies, because well, we'll even discuss we'll even discuss some of that too. I I can honestly say I've always been a constant fan of Phase, or at least I'm a fan of some Phase members. Mm-hmm. Maybe not the brand as a whole anymore, but I definitely still follow quite a few phase members whom I'm probably going to follow forever. Yeah, Jeb oh, being yeah. one of them. That that's yeah. that's always that I'm never going to subscribe for that. He's gotten so big to the point where he basically doesn't need phase. Phase needs Jev. This dude still puts up huge numbers. He's probably the biggest in terms of just YouTube subscribers in phase. Just all around guy that doesn't get into anything business related or drama. This dude is his own thing. Now, to to give so to give the fans uh, context, what we're talking about here is um, Phase Banks, who is now the new, I guess you could say, head owner of Phase Clan, yeah. uh, has dropped the bombshell. Uh, everybody outside of like ten people were fired like if you were in phase and your name wasn't on that list you are now no longer in phase so from big name mainstays like uh honestly even though he i think he's underrated he should be bigger than he actually is but like uh phase neo he's he, he's out of phase clan uh blue who hasn't uploaded in months is out of phase clan high skies the kid who got big on fortnite out of phase clan blaziken or blaze as you know him out of when, fa- uh, out of phase clan someone Everybody that they would call gone. a founder even phase rain who is technically a member but yet not according to temper he ha- still has a spot in phase but rain is out of the picture right now he doesn't want anything to do with where the phase is going apparently which honestly i think is a wise idea for rain because that's real here he got into some bullshit i'm not talking about his meltdown with the uh with the drugs we're past that i'm happy that he's doing better yeah. he's actually able to walk on his own without the wheelchair big ups to you nordan but when he started going at uh, Grace Van Dien, the girl from Stranger Things, it's 
it was just a i'm not gonna say a bad look on him but it was a bad look on phase clan as a company because it's like okay you have one of your founders one of your ogs going after somebody who's also on the team for insert reason here but that's one of the things i also wanted to discuss with you is like some of the things that went wrong with phase clan in my opinion are when they did choose to go corporate yeah you agree? so I just recently watched Temper's video on this that he posted today as of this recording. According to what he said, when they went corporate, it had to do with this guy that approached them about becoming corporate and he had this whole business plan, business ideas and everything. And according to FaZe, they loved the idea, they wanted to do it, but little by little, things started to, I guess, slip from their hands. Like any sort of control or any sort of say in the company any like, corporate heads that were in charge would not listen to any of their ideas nor would they really care about anything that they had to say and a lot of money that could have gone towards the team or paying say the actual members were going to these corporate heads and mm -hmm. Because let's let's. Think I was about to say we don't know exactly the decisions that were made because a lot of it is behind closed doors, but all we can assume is that these guys, you know, screwed them over, and then little by little they started trying to fight back and get their company back, which they have, thank God. Just, you know, is it led up to where it is now. Oh yeah. And I and I agree because I think the the problem started when they went corporate because let's let's go back in time and remember like what Phase Clan actually is. Let's remember what Optic actually is and what Optic is actually doing a good job of still pushing to do of like you know what we're a company about gamers for mm -hmm. the gamers like Phase Clan. You guys got big. Your first ill cams, which was the series that got you guys started was like the most basic form of quick scoping before the before the 1440 Naxuis off of carrier it was some quick scopes a couple of no scopes and some collats and that was shit that we had never seen before and it was awesome and to see that evolve into now all these great trick shotters and quick scope snipers just to name a few of you know sprat Linksy, carl like some of the guys that were like damn good in the in the game of do of of sniping that's what yeah, it was I mean, about. I'll even, I'll even and shout even, out recent people that were just laid off of his looking at dirty kitty fucking um agony those oh even tico he was a trick shotter montage and did too up until he got obsessed with cs and they start playing that instead but yeah, just those four. Downfall of any COD player, <laughs> CSGO. Oh, trust me, I have heavily considered playing myself. But but those four, just right there, were recently re released, uh, like, two days ago. And that really hurt, because, like, man, Kitty has been, like, what, ten years? So is Dirty? <laughs> Seen these iconic mainstays that have done so much for the team, especially Kitty. Oh, my God, this dude has done accomplished so many things in like the montage scene especially hitting some of the first like quads ever in the world on world war ii and that's where he got a lot of his infamy from and it's kind of grown his channel since then this mm -hmm. dude has put in work and Rip. repped her face for a while just to be let go but it was so odd to to see that because i remember banks on a podcast i forgot what podcast it was so sorry for not like you know crediting you properly but I remember him saying a couple months ago when he first was given the reins and and put in charge he outright said one of the first things he was going to do is he said i'm going to do a roster shakeup he outright said everybody's getting fired i'm starting over and even i thought okay that has to be a little satirical you can't fire everybody yeah, he did to fire <laughs> everyone yep. except for himself temper uh rug adapt jev nick Merckx, Replays Rolando, and scope. Kason, who, uh, who Replays else? Replays and scope. Yes. So we uh, we went from the amount of people that they had to ten. It's if absolutely insane that that many people was laid off. Some I feel shouldn't have, but 
I guess it kind of comes down to the direction that Banks wants to take it because he has full control right now. I, I agree. I'll throw the hot take out there. There's a couple people on this list that I think should have been fired and a couple that were fired that shouldn't have been fired. Yeah. I don't think dirt. I don't think dirty or kitty or, Ag or agony should have been fired. Yeah, I don't think so. At either. All. Those guys are just they're they're phase. Like kind of said that they are phase. They live and breathe phase. Even I don't even argue Tico as well. Tico and Testy. Testy was so uh, dude, yeah. that, that thumbnail of his. I'm like, oh, he is hurting right now. Yeah, that because a lot of these that hurt. Because a lot of these guys go way back. Like Agony, he, big player in the game, been around forever. Sure, does he have a a controversial beginning? Sure, but he's proven himself time and time again to be a good player and worthy of being a mainstay in phase. And I don't kind of just let go right off the start. I mean, some of them learned that day. It's just, it's just so sudden. Like woke up that morning, ready to ready to clock in and do some work, just to find out that you got fired. Like, and <laughs> agony was in the middle of vacation. He's still on vacation, and he just got fired. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, <laughs> man. And these are great content creators. They'll always land on their feet, but it still just sucks that out of nowhere, it's like, okay, this 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 team, this company that I helped be a part of, is now gone. Especially like, especially Neo, where. And this is where I give Neo his props and his flowers. The man was a king on controller, had a hand injury. I think he had to get have it surgically corrected. And then he swapped over to K-Bam, mouse and key. And he became a master of, of, of mouse and key. Because he's, he's, the man is just built different. And I thought to myself, there's no way they let this man go. He's, he's still personally good friends with... <clears throat> with Nick Merckx, he has, uh, he's still good with, like, with all the face guys that he does, that he doesn't interact with, there's no shot that they fire him. Boop, he's on, uh, he's not on the roster anymore. Yeah. And there's no rhyme or reason as to why. I have a suspicion as to why, but I, I can't confirm nor deny this. This is just DJ talking here. But part of me thinks it's the numbers thing of like, how often were you uploading or st or streaming in this case compared to what was your uh, what were your your view numbers? Because let's be real here, rug. The guy pulls views like nothing else. Yeah. The, the guy the kid is still cracked. All these years later, he can still rake in two million views. All he has to say is my my rectum is haunted, and we and we spent twenty four hours inside of it. That, that, that's I hate to say it, rug. Nothing against you, but that's that's your content. Something is haunted by ghosts, yeah. or you prank your mom. <clears throat> But hey, it works. It then works. you have, but then you have the likes of Adept. He's still in, and he hasn't uploaded in months. Yeah, Why? I think at this point he's on the business side, other than content creation, because that because he doesn't do any content. Savvy? I don't if know. Adept is part of the business team. That's crazy. Or maybe marketing. I have no idea what his <laughs> role is, but <laughs> it ain't content. This dude hasn't posted but, in forever. And then the other thing that I want to like touch up on, especially with the whole going corporate, it's like as soon as they went corporate, which already was a bad move, uh, the controversies that they got in of like, well, I already mentioned one of uh, Norton, Faze Rain, going after Grace Bay Dean. Pardon me. But then another big one, because again, image can be ruined by anything. As long as you have the name Faze in your name, it's going to make Faze look bad. The crypto scam. Oh yeah, that's it's been a minute since I've heard, um, thought about that one. Yeah, the yeah. crypto scam. For those that, for, for some reason you don't know, uh, some phase members I won't name any names right now uh, got involved with this uh, with this crypto coin that Phase was going to be doing called uh, well not Phase but uh, that they were going to be doing called Save the Kids, and then as soon as it raised up enough money, the primary owner completely pulled the rug. Yeah. So everybody lost money. The people that invested all like hundreds upon thousands upon thousands of dollars in life savings into this coin, thinking it's going to go to a good cost and make them money, all taken in an instant. And FaZe looked bad for it. Oh, yeah. Like FaZe, like FaZe looked bad because there were some big heavy hitter names that were attached to this coin. Tico was one of them. Yeah. And I'm happy Tico managed to clear, clear his name and actually get back into FaZe for a year. Before, where are we now? Yep. He's already not in phase again. If any, so that contra mm. 
Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was about to say, if anything, sure, has it been some time, but this sort of thing is going to stick with people. And I kind of have a suspicion that uh, a lot of things that have to do with people being laid off has to do with either past controversies or just numbers. And that's my sneaking suspicion. I wouldn't doubt it, but then actually no numbers would still would still fit to them because one of the things that uh stuck out to me and this this one well it's not necessarily a big deal unless you're unless you're a fan of the whole of the whole team. They kept swag but got rid of the rest of Nuke Squad. So Jay's True. move, Booyah, Santana, all gone, but swag can stay. Yeah, that that threw me through a loop because I'm like, that's just, you know, that's new squad. That's swags, quote unquote, team. And you're going to yeah, get that's all his but team swag. That he put yeah, you're getting rid of all but swag? I mean, does it right. stop them from doing stuff together? No, but it's crazy. Unless that, they force him. Yeah, unless they force him. But I really don't see the point of getting rid of those players because they're going to be, unless they force him again. They're going to be with swag. They're going to still be around a guy that's repping your team. So uh -huh. it's, you know, anything happens, guilt by association, and people are going to go after swag because of that. And they were cracked gamers. Like, they are so, every single one of them are talented at COD. And then also, they were great at making content because they had their own content house. I want to know anything. And I watched. <laughs> And I watched their videos, and it, 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 I won't say it was the same, it absolutely wasn't, but it still gave me, like, subtle vibes of the New York face house where they were just bros hanging out. That's it. And then creating content together. I watched them do, like, the, um, this question, this questionnaire game where they were at a restaurant, they were, had to eat these bowls of super hot ramen while answering questions. And then the winner got, like, $5,000. So I was like, this gives this gives me New York a uh, New York Face House vibes where they're just doing they're just doing challenges, hanging out, having the bro down, but also getting stupid internet famous. And now in one fell swoop, three of y'all are fired, but you can still hang out with the guy that hired you. Yep. So that's why I'm I'm getting where where Banks was going when he did this, but now I'm also left confused of like, why them and not him, or why him and not them, or why not all of them. Uh, that's a good question and we probably will never know they'll probably only keep the reasons to themselves i mean they haven't even told the players that were kicked period so <laughs> we're not gonna learn anything until unless they do we'll see but not unless banks comes out and makes a statement and says okay this is why i did it yeah because right now as it stands you have a roster of 10 maybe 12 people and two of which I don't know. I know Kason and Ro and uh, Rola uh, Ronaldo, and I know one of them is like, is is a, is a rapper. That's another topic that I want to get into. Is them out of uh, everyone that they... stayed, the only one I watch is Scope. Because out of everyone in Phase, all I, only people that I kept up with is either Jev or the people that still were part of the sniping grind, which was you know Dirty Kitty, Agony, Scope, and Testy. Oh, dude, the fucking grind gang was fucking, uh, it was fucking amazing. If I gotta say one thing, though. And when it comes to Dirty, I know that he streams more, I believe, but he also is a Warzone player now. If he wants to stick to that route and stay, you know, streaming and, and on Warzone, I think a good team for him to go in was take the same route Pumaz did and go into Optic. That's what Pumaz does. He streams and plays Warzone, and he could be right there with him, because he, Dirty is, well, he is Dirty, fucking nasty by Warzone, one of the best players, mm -hmm. so, I think that would be a great direction if he doesn't want or still want to be part of something, I think Optic is a good choice. You can always take the Aiden route and be a part of a CDL team and not play competitive at all, because Aiden is a part of New York Subwinners. Oh, I know, I'm just, well... That would be the same thing with Optic. And then I also know a lot of people had questions of like, how is this going to affect the CDL team? The, the CDL team has nothing. nothing to do with it. No. Phase, 
any pro team was not touched by in phase. No. Yeah, the pro the pro teams aren't even though yeah they are they are a part of phase, but they're owned by an entirely separate company that phase just uh, just paid into. Yeah. Face paid for a spot. Uh, the uh, the actual owners of the teams can can ship the ro rosters whenever they want to. Hence why, um, I forgot which team. They basically had a new roster every single fucking week last year. Oh, but the CS team though is nasty. They're they're looking really good. I will say that. I have been. I keep up <laughs> with CS. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so now moving forward, here we are with. Uh, 10, 12 people, your, your phase banks. What is the first thing you're like, what is your first move, uh, as to like improve the situation right now? Because you have, uh, you have people asking a lot of random questions. You have a group of probably the most odd people that you kept. Where do you go from here? Cause I tell you, me, I, if, what I was going to say, if I was him, because of this huge amount of backlash, I would be looking at a safe way to explain this in like some sort of video like Temper did. And just put your cards on the table, but don't reveal anything yet. Because I imagine he's wanting to keep a lot of this under wraps until it's ready to be, you know, shown. So I'd at least explain his ideas his mindset because at this point everyone is very confused everyone is also pissed because you got rid of some pivotal members in one fell swoop some of them or all of them didn't even know it was coming i know kitty said he knew because he got moved into the hall of phase about a year ago and that was already a notification he was gonna get kicked eventually and testy knew last month because testy made like one or mm -hmm. two videos on it yeah, he knew, so he, so already he, knew he left immediately. So. Like, if I'm in Banks' shoes, I now know, okay, I need to I need to bounce back as fast as possible or else people are going to start hating me and my decision. If I'm in Banks' shoes, I'm hiring people. I'm not, not the people that I just fired, but I need to get at least three clean-cut content creators who are hungry and can actually represent the phase name properly. And, and this is some... when they bring back Phase Five. <laughs> God, <dude>, Phase Five. <laughs> oh, God. One of the kids that was fired got in through Phase Five. Yeah, that, that was that must be a kick to the nuts. I think oh, if they got rid of Scope after him trying to get in for so long, I would have. Mm -hmm. That would have hurt to see. I would have felt for that man. This is the, that's when you just look at the games that are that are popping right now that have some sort of competitive scene or at least a high viewer base and then who do you go for do you go for a jinxie because well even though jinxie is attached to a team he's part of space station gaming but maybe you get your hands on this kid who's getting bigger and bigger and bigger in the in the twitch scene you get your hands on sketch that kid's out of his fucking mind since that's kind of where content's going be absolutely out of your mind get famous okay so jinxie sketch kai speed did I say that out loud? That's the thing is that I don't, Oops. I don't know if they're even going to go for gaming because they got rid of quite a bit of um, gaming related content creators. Sure, there were Call of Duty ones and Call of Duty is not doing any numbers at all recently, but it's still gaming focused and they still kept scope, but they end replays. I think replays is a Fortnite content creator now, but. I think that's it. Who are the other people? Because I know not well, all of them are technically gaming. can do game gameplay if he wanted to, but he's a he's a vlogger now. He's a vlogger. Uh, Jeff is gameplay, but it's not it's not just COD. But he also doesn't rely on COD to be the entertainment. No. He is the entertainment. He just happens to be playing COD. Uh, uh Nick Merckx technically. I mean, he goes like, to Warzone and Apex. Um, well, he doesn't even play Apex anymore. No, he doesn't. He said Apex. Like, is, uh, he, he said Apex is in a bad state, and he doesn't. He doesn't want to do it anymore. Fair enough. All right. And know. even Nick Merckx, a guy who has equity in Phase Clan, who was an owner of Phase Clan, I was watching his video before we went live. Oh, well, not went live, but when we, uh, you know, had the little red button in the corner. Uh, even he said, "Yeah, even I could have gone. Not even I knew if I was safe." Yes. Yeah, so no one knows because 
it's a, it's a really random roster they kept. It's all over the place. I don't have any idea what Banks is thinking at all. By the way, I'm curious if you're if you're watching this and you're a fan of Face Clan, leave a comment below what you think of all this. If if you think we're you know we're just blowing smoke up your ass, or if you actually want, or because I'm, I'm I'm actually curious where you guys stand on this too, because this was a kick in the fucking pants for a lot of Face members, a lot of Face fans, whether you've been around forever or uh, or if you just follow a couple of face members last fucking week this was crazy to see but on that note we're gonna take a quick commercial break we're gonna hear from our partner dubby take it away hey guys it's me dj real quick before you go anywhere i just wanted to remind you guys about no skill entertainment's still ongoing partnership with dubby yes they're still hanging out with us over a year later and trust me they have an array of delicious flavors such as dragonade dub sludge and galaxy grenade and hey maybe caffeine isn't your thing they have zero caffeine hydration formulas such as water melanda and pineberry splash and if any of these flavors piqued your interest please use code nse for 10 percent off your total order at checkout thank you for listening and i'll see you guys later hello 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 and welcome back hopefully you enjoyed that pretty little ad read thank you once again to dubby for hanging out with us still a year and some change later you are beautiful you are lovely and i hope your red velvet cake is always nice and moist but now back to the matter at hand we are talking about face clan and the shakedown that banks just did of firing everybody i want to go back now we've harped on some of the negativity i want to i just want to Go back on some of our fondest memories of of FaZe Clan, or at least FaZe members as a whole, dude. Uh, one of the things that I want to that I would just want to bring up. First off, I need to tip my hat to Sprat. I mentioned him earlier. Uh, thank you, man. Just when I thought sniping in BO3 was going to be impossible because they took away aim assist on snipers, you gave a tutorial that changed my life and my <laughs> career path when it came to call of duty black ops 3. thank you for sh for showing me the best way to quick scope with the locust on black ops 3. you are chef's kiss i hope you're doing well and your hot pockets are always nice and warm no matter what now that's a jetpack game i would not mind going back on playing i wouldn't either dude like i thought i was suffering at first i think the suffering came from we were playing with insufferable people <laughs> exiled anyway um <laughs> Jade. did i say that out loud but yeah. that's one of my fond memories of like well technically was he part of face clan then or was or did he already leave and go to and go to somebody else no he was still he was still in yeah. face clan okay because uh during bo3 days i was watching a lot of sprat and a lot of linksy linksy please make a comeback you're you're very much so missed and hangers Stop playing CSGO and come back to Call of Duty. God damn it. Yo, Daniel Cross, have a better uh, upload schedule, please. <laughs> yeah, so mm. what is a fond memory that you have of Face Clan? Like like the earliest, well, I won't say earliest memory, but what's the first thing that sticks out to you watching? Like which Face video is, uh, whose video is it? Or is it a team video? Is it a collab? It has to be when, at the peak of montage creation towards the end or like yeah basically towards the end of black ops 2 i gotta point out the catalyst 2. Ooh. still one of the fa most favorite montages to be well, I, I can't even speak i just loved it so much and it just brought back just thinking about it, i still watch it to this day just the look back Think about good times, how fun those games were in that, back then. Just the montage scene in general, and what the, the uh, I guess the achievements that FaZe members did. My God, what's production? Right? Oh my God, production back then. Sure, nowadays they're it's better technically, but back then it was just something special. Like again, there's been some skilled snipers. <clears throat> throughout the history of face clan but i gotta say dude like whether it be your linksies your uh your your sprats your jebs when jeb was still like actively quick scoping in, uh in any cod that he can get his dirty little hands on something about pomage man the kid was different 
He was just different. Oh my god. I, I'm still glad that Pomaz d still does montages here and there when he gets the clips, because the man is, keeps it going. He's always grinding. Whether it's Warzone or multiplayer, gotta love the man. And that's the what hard part of, like, if you were wanting to put a... Uh a montage together with how call of duty is going now where it's just i call it noob mechanics they like to call it meta yeah i know i'm not gonna harp on it too much but i kind of hate the fact that cod has devolved into all right what gun what attachments do i need to make this gun good cod used to be you need to be good now the gun just needs to be good yeah i really i really miss the pick 10 system the pick 10 system was probably the best era of call of duty and this is coming from a guy whose favorite game is mw3 and i still think the pick 10 the system era. in bo2 was awesome everyone's it was only in i believe only in black ops 2 and then, then it put it back since but people to this day still say it's the best loadout system mm -hmm. i don't understand Actually, you know, I don't understand anything of what the devs do. They don't listen to shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. It's all them. And that's what makes it hard is like, it's, I, again, I call it noob mechanics that you're facing. And as long as the gun's good, if you miss your first shot as a sniper, you're basically dead. And that's why it took forever for us to put out the brotage on, um, on MW2. MW2, the new, not MW 2009, that, you know, the good one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just shooting shots everywhere. Let's go. But um, because it was so hard to pull off anything because it's just noob mechanics, camping mechanics, meta guns, or people just, you know, cake and riot shielding everywhere. And the only solid map, because most of the maps were absolutely horrendous, the only map that we could really do anything on was shipment. Because it's the fastest map, and yeah. it's the it's the easiest map to actually snipe on, and the spawns are always going to be different. You couldn't it was you could, but it was very hard to actually spawn camp on shipment. And I mean, not only that, especially when it came to the skill based matchmaking, it was the games are just harder in general, especially the, for the people that knew how to hold down lanes, and so you just had kind of got trapped in some. Really weird spawn trap, especially on the highway map, the border map, I think it was called. Mm -hmm. Border. Yeah, that was border. awful. I, I didn't care for the MW2 maps at all, nor did I really care for the gameplay. I hit the clips because it, I still think sniping's fun, and I still snipe on MW3. And I think MW3 is, so far, the best COD we've gotten in, like, years. Because it's fast, time to kill is great, every gun feels great to use the sniping is fun and fast it, i don't know it, but I still have a hard time playing more than three games because i feel like i'm in a cdo match every time i play yeah you were in a fucking game with like with who you had you had two people I, in your fucking game I, I think it was three i'm i think dan 2k is a content creator i could be wrong but i was in with d honcho and scump and or not scump sorry scope d honcho and scope I even saw them on uh, stream, so just to confirm, I wasn't stream sniping. I put it away. But yeah, it was them. I ran into it, I'm like, damn, this is the ELO that I'm in? I'm in the games with Scope and Honcho? <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck? I haven't played this game in like three weeks, and the game thinks I'm still this high in the ELO. Not to mention every other game I'm seeing, like Diamonds, Iridescence. I ran into a couple top 250s, and I'm like, well, shit, all right, here we go. I'm just go, <laughs> go and fuck myself, right on. <laughs> like, I barely play this bitch, <laughs> the game thinks I'm up here. That's why, again, if you haven't seen our brotage, I highly recommend going and wa uh, watching it, just because, A, it was, so, it's so, it was so much fun to do, and it was something that Brandon and I have been talking about doing for a while, plus we put, uh, we put some awesome songs in it for... Uh, for, bro, uh, for, mo for montage music. Sorry, I'm stuttering. Um, so go and watch that, please. It's actually really awesome. Going back to Face Clan, because this they're the celebrity of the fucking hour. I want to talk about another, just another fond memory that basically really pulled me into Face Clan. Because at this point, I was a fan of Jev and a couple of the New York Face House guys. Yeah. 
Like, I was watching Rain and Adapt, because, like, they're, for some reason, doing the same 720 Insta swap, and I'm still like, that's your 200th one? Brother! <laughs> Fuck yeah! But I loved when I watched the, um, the hide-and-seek video that they did, like, Adapt, Rain has Apex, Jev, and a couple of the people in there, like, Bucky trying to get into, has. like, spots on the hot. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I wonder what that guy's doing. Sail under. I follow him on Snapchat. He's a he's a car guy now. A car guy, interesting. Yeah, and he has a kid. Oh. Yeah, that man fucks. Damn. I mean, there was no doubt. It, it <laughs> has, Mister Fe Smiley Face on Finger himself. <laughs> uh, there's also remember Gwit. Oh man, Gwit, the face guy that went silent, then randomly out of nowhere just goes, "Hi." Yeah. I'm here. I'm Gwit. Hey, hi. I'm joining FaZe again. I'm also playing League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to join FaZe for all two months and then leave again. Yeah. I loved his content when he was actually doing it on a regular basis. That guy's content was comedy. Oh, yeah, dude. He's he's fucking hilarious. But that's where, like, again, the fond memories that I'm going to always hold on to when it comes to FaZe Clan of old. Of like, you know what? Those moments where they, they collab. I still loved in the New York FaZe house when... Just for content, it's such simple content, but it was uh, it hit the mark and it was solid. Of like finding ways to piss off banks. Oh my god! Like whether it be uh, adapt trolling him and like saying uh, saying the things that he already uh, that he was saying like the other repeater just to piss him off, and then banks like grabs him and throws him against the wall. And he's just like, "What are you doing? Why are you being so stupid, bro?" <laughs> or when Rain would spray liquid ass in his room. And not tell him. No, oh, yeah. Oh, remember the fucking. That... Uh, remember the Apex got kicked from Phase pranks. Oh, dude, Jeb was talking about that in his in his response video. Yeah. When Apex called, <laughs> Jeb him. was like, "I was ready to take to take it on the chin and walk away, but I was biting my teeth." And I think that might have been this. This is just me talking here. I think honestly, for me that might have been prime phase clan was new york house because when they all went out like fucked off to california that's when things yeah, the kinda, content was still good i mean in my opinion that's when things started to go over downhill what new york face house no california yeah in california is when is definitely when it started going downhill it was a slow trickle though like a slow trickle yeah hey, we're going um uh, uh we're going corporate <clears throat> oh by the way hey so now uh we did uh we did collabs with uh batman no one cares we're doing collabs with uh with, with champion with champion apparel no one gives a shit we signed offset no, no one, one gives cares. a shit okay we that... got snoop dog oh don't my care God, they're freaking I, I bet it was corporate's idea or at least someone but i know banks liked it because he likes recording recruiting rappers but bro recruiting those rappers when i heard about that went offset and then they got snoop dogg and i'm like why <laughs> this isn't this is not phase they don't they don't even know who the fuck you are maybe snoop dogg because you know he loves doing his you know collaborations with call of duty but dude what the <laughs> really i mean snoop dogg does have no he doesn't have a gaming team i think i think at one point he was the front of a of a gaming tournament but that's about it but I know it was just the, the clickbait cash grab of we signed Snoop Dogg. We signed Offset, especially Snoop Dogg is a legend in the hip hop game. Everybody's going to take notice of that. And then around the time when they signed signed Offset, Migos were the thing, the oh, group yeah. to listen to. Yeah, Migos, when they recruited them, were huge. Also, can I just say this? Um, I know you bring like Snoop Dogg. This is like the third time they've made a skin of him in call of duty but can we at least you know and take it back to ghost and get an announcer voice pack that'd be fun i enjoyed that more than the skins oh man they called the ops man that Dude, and ghost was so that. good i love that i love that i love that i think that's why I'm, I'm gonna derail here just for just for a moment why i think smite still has my attention because they have all these different announcer packs and then they made announcer packs 
based off of skins in the game. Like I got one for the for the Stoner Bacchus. He now has an announcer pack, and I think that's fucking amazing. Of announcer pack Smite has is ridiculous. Yes. Most of the time, I don't, I don't even realize that I have as much as I do. <laughs> I'm just risking it. I have it on random. So I'll just get some random voice pack, and I'm like, I didn't know I had that. Mm -hmm. Or who the hell is talking right. in my ear? One minute it's the regular guy, one minute it's Punk Duck. Fucking Punk Duck. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. we'll talk about Smite another day, because trust me, I have a whole ass rant about Smite and Smite 2. Trust me, Iris, I'm coming for your neck. I'm coming for your neck. You did so, a goof. You done goofed. You don't fucked up, AA Ron. Don't but fucked up. Back right. to back to Call of Duty. Uh, so Call of Duty had such a steeple foundation. Like I, especially, I'd say that that New York Face House era. That's what you, me, and the boys were watching. Was phase video was like was like phase clan videos. Hey, did you see Jeb's newest rage Taj? Oh, did you see the new uh, the newest uh, phase uh, phase rain video? Oh, he went to he went to vape con, bro. Fucking vape, vape lord, lord nord. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> or the freaking huge um freaking news every time Jeb would put out a for Jever, because everyone just wanted him to put out for Jevers, and this dude he just puts it out when he wants to. When he feels like it. And, and Jeb is such a good Call of Duty player, dude. Still remember somebody asked him in a comment section that he uh, that he personally addressed, why don't you use regular guns? And he goes, oh, why don't I use regular guns? Because this. And then in the game of Call of Duty goes, he pulls out <clears throat> just one regular weapon and goes 57 and 0 with completely straight faced. Not talking, not showing any emotion. Then when the game ends, he just looks at the camera and goes, that's why. It's just too easy. Hey. Your red gunners that hit snapping. That's an example. The red guns is too I, easy. I still hold I that do it to, because you don't like it. I still hold that to my chest. <laughs> Snapping's harder. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, and, uh, that's and that's when Face Clan was quality, dude. Especially when the, the New York Face House they moved in some prime content creators. Like in there, you had Temper, Rain, Banks, Blaze. At one point, they had a chef. Yeah, fucking Sensei. Sensei and Apex. Uh, Pomage was there for a little bit. He was. And then when they had Jeb come out to the face house for like a week. Oh my god, that was amazing. In all the videos, they made him wear his pink headset. Because that's his <laughs> steeple. That was that was funny. See, if you don't, if, if you out there were like wanting to question how OG we are, this is us talking about how OG we are. Okay? We've been around for, we've been around the block for a minute. Cod four, baby. I've mm -hmm. been here since the beginning. Basically, the, honestly, their peak is kind of reflective on the golden era of Call of Duty. So we're talking like Cod four to Black Ops two. Mm -hmm. I would say that's also peak Call of Duty because in that same era is the New York House. And everything else, like ill cams, fucking the montages. Hell, the one miltage is still, oh my god, I still go back to that one. every once in a while. I watch that. Mm -hmm. And all these other phase members, like Pomage hit a million, that million montage, Jev's million, fucking Kitty. Well, Kitty's still trying to go for a million. One day, but brother, one day. But, yeah, it's just. So many things happened in that era of Call of Duty, and then phases there along with it. It's just, you can't get that anymore, especially since they're not really focusing on Call of Duty, and Call of Duty is a whole mess on its own. Things kind of just went downhill, and it won't be the same. It won't be the same, but they can at least try to rebrand and do something else and do something different and do something right. Because you have a chance now. You got rid of 90% of your roster. That means now you have to put in some work to bring back the good name. That is Face Clan. I think you can do it because I know Banks has been wanting to do this for years. Banks has uh, been trying this to get this done forever. And my man, the reins are now in your hand. It's your say. It's your go. Do it and do it well. Because as much as I want to keep talking about this, it is time for us to close out. It means it is outro time. 
we have made it to the end of this episode of the Tavern Talk. Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen, for hanging out with us. Real quick, Brandon, before we actually end, I have a question for you. And I want you guys to answer it down below, too. If you could bring back one member that was fired, who would it be? And also, if you could bring back one bit of face content, who would it be? Oh, what would it be? Well, content-wise, I'm going to go L-cams. I miss those bring things. Bring back the real 50. Bring back the L-cams. Not mm -hmm. going to happen, but it's wistful thinking. Very Members. Good. So many I could pick from, but none more deserving than Kitty. Ooh, nice pick, nice pick. I would have said, like, homage or, you know, Spread, but they're doing their own thing. Spread's doing good. Homage is an optic. Kitty, man. You just gotta... You gotta get them man, the more of the love because that dude deserves more than what he got. A lot more. Hell, the dude and then, wasn't even getting paid by FaZe. He got no money from FaZe. It was all him. So that was just pure, I'm a FaZe man because I love FaZe. Yeah, he, he lives and breathes FaZe and it's really sad that they let him go like that. Maybe I can, maybe a second chance in the future? Like... Thanks. Now that you've fired everybody, take a moment, have a beer, chill out, look at the roster and be like, ugh, I might have fucked up here. Come on, you know you can. Uh, but a bit of con face content that I want to bring back, I would want Apex to bring back his top five clips of the week where he would actually analyze, like, watch people's clips and actually judge them, like, how good they were. My favorite one is on BO, I think it was BO3, where some dude got a five-man collat down a hallway. That was nuts. It and then my phase member... I was gonna really quick point out, might not work anymore because he barely plays Call of Duty, but you can leave that up to scope because he has his own show just like that. The top five or top tens that he does on his channel. So Ooh. that is something that can come back because Scope is already doing it. He's been right. doing it for a while. You think he's like over a hundred episodes now? All right, all right, I'll check them out. And then phase member that I think got wrongfully terminated. Well, not wrongfully, but was dismissed, but that should come back. I gotta throw it to Neo. The kid is entertaining, and he's also damn good at COD, and I love the fact that he's a white guy that talks like he's black. It makes me laugh <laughs> all the time. <laughs> I had to check him <laughs> out. I didn't even know about him. Oh, yeah. He's, his story is great. Of Like, you know what? He always wanted to be good at COD, and then when he started playing with Nick Merckx, Nick Merckx said he can just get him into FaZe Clan because he knows Nick Merckx. And then Neo said, no, I want to get in the legit way because I want to feel like I accomplished something. And he went through the steps and processes to become a FaZe member. Yeah, they must scope. So I tip my... So we tip our hats to... Uh, to you, Scope, and all the other OGs, thank God Jeff did not get kicked out, because if oh. Jeff got kicked out, we would have rioted. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, again, I want to hear from you guys uh, down below. Leave me some of your favorite phase moments. Where did you think phase went wrong? Tell me some phase uh, moments that you are so fond of. But other than that, I just want you guys to know that there are some buttons and a comment section down below, and I highly suggest you do whatever you want to do with them, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.